effect on the euro us dollar and let's zoom it out a little bit okay now this is a naked chart of the daily uh, euro us dollar and uh, let's say that we want to add an stochastic oscillator because we want to know uh, if we are at an, an extreme level and if this is a good area to buy the euro us dollar what you do is you go to this button right here and uh, you click on and uh, you point oscillators then you point on stochastic oscillator and click on it and then you choose your periods okay this is a fast stochastic oscillator but the actual parameters don't matter in this video so let's say that we want a super fast stochastic oscillator and uh, here we are now as you can see this stochastic oscillator reacts super strongly to the um, to uh, the price movements so this is not really a good indicator to have on the daily charts and uh, if you have this problem and you want to modify some of their parameters you just go to the stochastic oscillator and point at one of the moving average and double click on it that will prompt your stochastic oscillator parameters then it's just uh, a matter of which k, p k, k percent period you want let's say that we want the default uh, parameter on the stochastic oscillator okay so we point out a 1433 stochastic and uh, you can also change the colors because this is not very visually appealing and you need to have very very visually appealing uh, indicators and charts so your main uh, color which was before um dark turquoise is now navy blue and the signal is red and of course you can change also uh, the appearance of the lines and the width of the lines now you can also change the levels on your stochastic oscillator and this is uh, this can be done in any oscillator you want okay uh, let's say that we want really overbought and oversold levels and we change it to a 1585 um, that's just to give you an example and uh, our line is black so as you can see now we have a better understanding and a very a, a better understanding of of uh, the stochastic levels that we are at and uh, just by looking at the stochastic oscillator this is not a very good spot to buy on a blind uh, on a blind trade now this is how you add and how you modify oscillators on your mt4 and uh, this uh, goes for either the MACD, the RSI, the stochastic, or the Williams percent range, etc. Any any of the oscillators. Now let's say that uh, you want a trending oscillator and uh, you want the the uh, parabolic SAR. You can see that the other indicators have the same style. You choose the parameters and the visualizations, and we want them to show in all the time frames. So we click OK, and now you have the parabolic SAR on them. And that's easy. Uh, the more complicated indicators are the, uh, well, to modify are the uh, oscillators because uh, you can modify the, the speed of the oscillator, and uh, of course, you can choose your uh, overbought and oversold levels. Now, to eliminate a, uh, an indicator, you just right click on the chart and you go to uh, indicator list. And now you can see that you have all the indicators here. You have the indicators that you have on your main chart and we only have the parabolic SAR and uh, your indicators on the window number one, which is this one right here, where the oscillators are. And let's say that we want to keep uh, the stochastic oscillator but we want to eliminate the parabolic SAR we just click on parabolic SAR and delete and then close and then there you go the uh, indicator on the main chart is gone and uh, you can you can use them for any other indicators that you want let's say that uh, you're starting to to look for for some indicators to use on your charts and uh, and uh, and then uh, you clog your charts with a lot of indicators okay and it looks like this is this is very i mean this is untradeable because there's too many indicators on your charts you just right click on your chart you go to your indicator list and uh, 
you click on delete on the indicators that you want to delete from your chart and then there you go you just have the stochastic oscillator and you have a, a normal setting on the Bollinger Bands and as you can see here we are about to get a squeeze out of the Bollinger Bands which can mean that uh, we are going to move up but that's not the the main focus of the video the main focus of the video is indicators now let's go to trend lines let me just get rid of the uh, the Bollinger Bands here and let's keep the stochastic oscillator because we are just going to draw, be drawing trend lines and I'm going to show you that you can also draw trend lines on the uh, oscillators too. Now, the first thing you need to know is that the, the horizontal trend line uh, is uh, mainly used for support and resistance levels. And uh, if, you, if you see here, you, if you double click on the trend line, these squares will appear at the price level. This means that the trend line is active and you can move it up and down. So let's leave it right here. If you double click it again, you can see that the squares are gone, which means that the, uh, or, uh, the horizontal line is no longer active, so you can't move it. Okay. Now you need to be careful because you can also, uh, if you have, uh, let's say, three or four horizontal lines and you want to delete three of them uh, you just double click on the ones that you want to delete you check that in fact those trend lines have the squares at the level price and you click on your keyboard delete key and that's one way to delete your horizontal lines as well as your trend lines okay now uh, if you want to modify the color of, or the width of the trend line, you just double click to activate the trend line and then right click on the trend line and go to horizontal trend line properties. And now you can choose the color, the width or the style of the line. OK, and as you can see, it changes. It's, it's uh, the same thing goes for trend lines. Uh, the only thing about trend lines is what am I, I, I'm about to show you let's say that we draw this trend line right here okay we chose uh, this low and this high for the trend line and uh, if you go to properties which uh, to go to properties you right click on the trend line and then you click on the properties you can see that you can also change uh, the style of the trend line and the width of the trend line but uh, the main thing about this is, is that uh, if you if you have this uh, square clicked, uh, the raised square clicked, it means that the trend line will go on forever on your chart. If you unclick it, it will only go from the point of start, which is this low, to the point of end, which is this low right here. And uh, you can choose to go as far as you want. Okay. Now, another cool thing about trend lines on the MT4 platform is that you can create parallel trend lines by just clicking on your control key on your keyboard and holding it and then just moving your trend line up or down then you can create a parallel channel or an equidistant channel i'm sorry or you just can create parallel lines that's another cool feature about the uh the trend lines on the mg4 and the last thing i want to go through is uh, that you can also use trend lines on your uh, oscillators and uh, this is pretty cool because if you have uh, like this the oscillator making higher uh, lower highs and you are waiting for a breakout you can draw a trend line like i just did right here and wait for the breakout right here or if you are having uh, higher lows like in here you can draw a trend line uh, to visually have these areas of support on your oscillator and when price or when the oscillator breaks below the area of uh, support you can see that price also breaks to the downside and that's another cool trick about trend lines and the mt4 platform so this is how you work your trend lines and uh, your indicators on your charts on the mt4 platform